If you think that this is the life of every RX-8 owner, you are very, very wrong. You guys really, really hate this engine. It seems like a popular opinion is to buy the car, throw out the Wankel engine, and then replace it with something more reliable. Well, I'm here to tell you that's not a good idea. Now, before I get too far about stating the obvious, I'll also be proving why with numbers and math that this car is better with the rotary engine. And I'm pretty sure I'm the first person on YouTube to do this, so be sure to stick around. So back to the obvious. Honest question here. What do you think of this exhaust note? There's nothing I would rather hear when I slam the pedal down. The exhaust note of the rotary is one of the greatest things I've ever heard, and I'd say it's comparable to the LFA, in a different way. Still not convinced enough? Let's talk numbers. Now, even though I'm in school for mechanical engineering, I'm still not qualified to talk about this, so take it with a grain of salt. But like I said in the beginning, this is a final attempt for me to prevent you guys from engine swapping your RX-8s and to keep the rotary in the RX-8. And it's a very unbiased. All right, here we go. The 13B MSP Wankel engine in the RX-8 has a weight of approximately 210 pounds. Now let's compare that to the most common choice of an engine swapped into it, the LS1, which weighs 430 pounds. Alternatively, you could swap in a 2JZ, which has a weight of approximately 500 pounds. But I'll mostly be comparing it to the LS1. Now, you obviously need transmission or mating and drive shaft and all that stuff, but let's just pretend that this is an ideal, easy engine swap. A big thing for me that classifies the handling of a car is body roll during cornering, and that's the easiest thing for me to compare, so here we go. The LS1 is 28 inches tall, and we will assume the center of gravity, or the CG, is halfway up at 14 inches. The 13B MSP is approximately 17 inches high, and if we assume the CG is again half, we have it at about 8.5 inches from the bottom. Now if we measure to the bottom of the engine from the ground, that's going to act as our reference for these calculations. And if we measure that on the RX-8, we get about 8 inches. So if we compare the center of gravity from each engine, we get 16.5 inches for the Wankel and 22 inches for the LS1. Now when you're really going at it on a track, you might be able to pull one lateral G. This is what we'll use for testing purposes because it makes the math easy. During a corner, the lateral force is equal to the weight of the engine because that's what we're talking about here. Torque is equal to R cross F, so the torque during the cornering due to the Wankel engine is then 16.5 inches divided by 12 to convert to feet, and then times 210 pounds we get 289 foot-pounds. For the LS1, it's 22 over 12 times 430 pounds, and that's equal to 788 foot-pounds. You can probably start to see that this is a pretty significant difference already. The track width of a Mazda RX-8 is 59 inches, so the force on the wheels can be calculated from the torque and the total mass of each engine. For the RX-8 with the LS1, the outer wheel of the corner has an extra downforce of 321 pounds, and the inner wheel has 321 pounds less. For the RX-8 with the Wankel, the force is 118 pounds and follows the same pattern. Now let's look at body roll from this torque. The spring rate in the front of a stock RX-8 is 156 pounds per inch. So with 321 pounds on one side from the LS1 RX-8, that correlates to about two inches on each side. For the Wankel RX-8, it is 0.76 inches on each side. So if we take a look at this, we can calculate the angle of body roll for the LS1 and Wankel RX-8 
to be 4 degrees and 1.5 degrees, respectively. So with an LS1 in your RX-8, you'll be leaning an extra 2.5 degrees on top of the normal leaning from the weight of the rest of the car. This doesn't seem like a ton, but small angles like this can affect your suspension, camber, and it affects your tire load and contact, affecting overall performance. Body roll really affects the way a car feels and drives. But at the end of the day, a race car designer wants to reduce body roll, but isn't going to sacrifice that for other variables such as speed. It really comes down to what you want in a car. And for people like me, that's a well-designed, well-handling chassis with an engine that fits it so perfectly. And it is that uniqueness and special driver feeling that keeps people doing the maintenance and taking care of their RX-8s so they can run for years to come.